This video comes from someone that you all may know, Mikey Balls Fishing. So he is out here on the lake, and the title of this video is Why Fishermen Hate Each Other. So that is where this comes from. Want comes from. Want to give a special shout out to him. But let me go ahead and change the screen up a little bit, and let's get into it. What do you guys think about the situation? And as you can see, look at that arrow and look way out there. You can see a little bitty dot. And that is the boat that seems like it may be the, uh, the topic of this discussion. Let's take a look. All right, here he comes. Look at him. He's way out there. You can hear the wind. Look at those waves. He made a 90 degree turn. <laughs> he, made, <laughs> he, he was driving and made a just a straight 90 degree turn and headed straight for where he was at. Uh-oh, he's trying to make some small talk. That wind is kind of, let me turn the volume down on it just a little bit, guys. All right, so real quick. So the guy pulls up way out in the middle of nowhere. You're out there by yourself fishing and somebody pulls up and he says, hey, you got to be crazy for being out here in all this wind and these, in these waves. He's out there too. So what do you think he is trying to do? The guy is trying to make small talk so that he can pull in on the area that you're fishing. And Mikey knows that. Mikey is not new to this. So he knows the deal. He knows what's going on. So the guy pulls in and says, you must be crazy for being out here, but he's actually out there himself. And then he just straight up asked him, hey, do you have enough fish there to share? Knowing that because he sees him out there that he must be on something for him to be fishing out there like that. So he's asking, can I pull in and try to fish the same fish that you're currently fishing for? So that is the question. And let me see. So the, as you can see on the screen, he says, let me just change this up real quick, guys. He says, not really, man. I work my A off to find this stuff. So he's been out there driving around in that wind and looks like it may have been raining in those high winds, those rough waters. He found some fish and now somebody just comes pulling up and says, hey, let me catch those two. Let me let me eat off of the work that you've been putting in. But let's see. What do you think? What do you guys think? In the comments, would you allow this guy to pull in? You don't know him or anything. Would you allow him to pull in and start fishing what you have spent your hard, um, you know, you've been out there putting in work to find that area, to find those fish. And now would you, would you share it? Let's see. What do you guys think? Drop a comment in there. Let's go ahead and finish taking a look and see how, how it plays out. Ooh. So he dropped a waypoint on him. So let me just pause it real quick, guys. So for, for you guys that do not know what just happened, as you saw, way out in the middle of nowhere, he's fishing. Here comes a boat that you can see looks like from miles away. Pulls all the way up to him and hey says, hey, can I come and fish for those same fish you're fishing for? And he's like, no, man. I've been out here driving around in these 15, 20 mile per hour winds in the rain and everything. I finally found some fish and you're just going to pull up in here and try to, you know, push me out of my spot or just come and take what I have found. And he's like, no, you know, hey, just keep on moving. Just let me do what I'm doing. The guy's acting polite and everything, but he can see him pressing buttons on his screen. And what that guy is doing is marking a waypoint. He is mapping out, mapping out the location where he is at so he can come back later and pretty much eat off of the work that he just put in. <laughs> oh, man, it's a cruel, cruel world out there. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Do you think that that is OK? I mean, some people may agree. Some people may disagree. Uh Oh, and got to give a special shout out real quick. We have Texas Noop checking in. And hey. Texas Nuke, you might want to scroll back up through these comments a little bit and check out your partner, Dodie Fishing. I told you guys you need to be networking with each other. But yeah, shout out to you. Really appreciate you hopping into the live stream. But yeah, guys, in the comments, what do you think? Does anybody agree that this is okay? 
Are you okay with it? Would you say, yeah, partner, come on in here. Let, let's have some fun together. I mean, it all depends on sometimes just how you're feeling that day. What is your mood? But let's go ahead and see what else he had to say. But yeah, make sure you guys check this out. This is Mikey Balls um, Fishing. And the title of this video is Why Fishermen Hate Each Other. So you guys can check out that entire video if you want. But I'm going to finish playing this out. And then I will get into the video clip of my incident out on the water so I can get your feedback. But let's see what else um, Mikey has to say in this situation. That's how fishing cannot be fun. All he did is he rolled up on me. He dropped the back point. He no one back point. I worked my ass off to find this boat. And then somebody pulls back. That's not fun. That's the game. Yep, and that is how the game is played, guys. That is how the game is played. So basically what he said is he went out there and he was working, driving around in those high winds and those rough waves. It looks like it may have been raining on and off. So he's out there putting in work. Somebody else from way miles away sees him out there fishing, so decides to roll up on him and mark his spot so they can come back later and fish it. Even if he says, no, I don't want you coming over here. I'm out here fishing it. You know, go ahead and, you know, just find you a, a place to fish and, you know, just let me relax and do what I came out here to do. So let's hop into the comments real quick and see what do you guys think? What would you have said? Would you have allowed him to come in and fish? Or would you have said, hey, keep it pushing. Keep on moving. Let's see. 